Hello everyone, welcome back to another Kinetic Tutoring episode. Today we're taking a look at um, another AP Physics C mechanics problem, so let's get straight into it. A thin hoop of mass M, radius R, and rotational inertia MR squared is re released from rest from the top of a ramp the length L above. The hoop makes an angle theta with respect to a horizontal ta tabletop to which the ramp is fixed. The table is a height H above the floor. Assume that the hoop rolls without slipping down the ramp and across the table. Express all algebraic answers in terms of given quantities and fundamental constants. A asks us to derive an expression for the acceleration. So here, let's use our torque equation or sorry, rather our force equation and our torque equation. So we'll have that I alpha is going to be equal to mu N and M A oh mu N R M A is going to be equal to M G sine theta. So from here we can cancel out our m's. I alpha becomes m r squared a over r. One of these r's cancels is equal to mu n r. This r and this r cancel. M a is equal to mu n. And then a is equal to g sine theta, so we get m g sine theta is equal to mu times normal force. And our normal force is just going to be m g cosine theta. So mu is going to be equal to tan theta. So from here, we can just go back to this, knowing that our mu is tan theta. Got tan theta, normal force R is equal to m R squared A over R. All these R's are canceled. Once again, we get MA is equal to MG cosine theta times tan theta, which just gives you MG sine theta. So A is going to be equal to G sine theta. There you have it. Derive an expression for the speed of the center of mass when it reaches the bottom of the ramp. For this part, you're going to use energy. So first you start off with MGH. You know your H is L sine theta. And then you have 1 half mv squared, which is the translational kinetic energy, and 1 half I omega squared which is your rotational kinetic energy mgl sine theta is equal to one half mv squared the inertia is mr squared omega squared is vr squared v squared over r squared so you get plus one half mv squared so you get mgl sine theta is equal to mv squared cancel out the m's and the speed is going to be square root of gl sine theta there's your velocity derive an expression for the horizontal distance from the edge of the table to where the hoop lands on the floor so we know that the acceleration is gravity and in the in the vertical direction and the initial vertical speed is zero so our height is going to be h 
or our H final is going to be zero. Our V final is going to be zero. It's going to be H plus V initial T, which is zero T plus one half AT squared, which will give you one half times 10, which is five T squared. So here you get H over five, square root of H over five is equal to the time it will take for the ball to for the ball to reach the bottom and now we know that this is a constant speed so we multiply by square root of h over 5 in order to get the distance from the horizontal distance so it'll be square root of gl sine theta times square root of h over 5 will get you that horizontal distance Suppose that the hoop is now replaced with a disc having the same mass m and radius r. How will the distance from the edge of the table compare from the distance determined in part c? So a disc has the inertia of 1 half mr squared, and that means that the rotational kinetic energy will be less, meaning that less of the kinetic energy will be going towards rotating, and therefore more of the kinetic energy is able to go towards translating so the ball will be translating faster horizontally so it will land further away so it's going to be greater than and I just gave you your description so if you were to get a question like this that's the description you would give more or less and there you have it guys that's how you would solve this problem leave it down in the comments below if you have any questions comments concerns and I will catch you guys next time